Hello all. Good to be with you. Hi friends. During this time we've been inundated with a vocabulary that's become quite familiar to us. Coronavirus, COVID-19, social distancing, flattening the curve. And there's been another expression too that we've also become familiar with, to shelter in place. We've been encouraged to stay at home to avoid the spread of the infection, especially for those who are non-essential workers. I know this is at times difficult and trying for us, taking us out of our normal routines. However, at the same time, I think we can see it also as a gift and as an opportunity. Because while sheltering in place, we can also shelter in the presence. Shelter in the presence of God. Shelter in the presence of each other. Shelter in the presence of ourselves. When we talk about sheltering in the presence of God, our sheltering in place, again, is an opportunity. An opportunity to grow in our relationship with, with God. An opportunity to deepen that relationship. An opportunity to maybe spend a little more time in prayer. It's a time also in which we become, can become more aware of God's presence in our lives, be more aware of God, placing our hands in the hands of God to say to God, not my will, but your will be done. It's raising our hearts and minds to God in a time of personal prayer. So that is one way that we can see the sheltering in place as sheltering in the presence of God. And then also, too, it's a chance for us to shelter among each other, sheltering in place among each other. Oftentimes our lives are very busy and hectic and we don't often have that time to spend this so-called quality time as much as we do now. So the quality time becomes quantity time, and that too is, becomes even also a deeper quality time. Playing games with each other, family dinners that we may not have shared in the past, all host of different activities. Father Ma has a story that he can tell us. Yes, friends. There is a young father, 45 years old, in India. And he has a face of failure. A lot of failures in his life. He had a business failure, his character failure, his failure to spend quality time with his children, failure to treat his wife well, a failure to treat his life well, a failure to treat his time with God. So a lot of failures in his past and means. And he was working as a driver to a local politician. His work begins from morning 9 to evening 10. He had no time to spend his precious time with the family. He has no time to have meal with the family. He had no time, a fatherly time with the kids. And he had a bad habit of drinking too much and torturing the family members. And he had a bad habit of spending his time whiling away with friends, not with kids in the family, not worrying too much about the family's goodness. So all these failures and these bad habits were around him. But during this lockdown, Corona lockdown, God gave him the blessings. God gave him an inner realization to make a U-turn in his life. Now he has more time for God, more time for his kids and wife, more time for himself. During this lockdown, he had an inner realization that he is out of the track, out of the family track, out of his morality track, out of his spirituality track. He realized and he's making his U-turn coming back to his original nature. He reduces his drinking habit. He reduces all his 
waywardness and he increases his precious time quality time with the wife and kids and he increases his prayer time and he increases his own self realization thus he creates hope and strength within and he generates hope in the family and he generates a strong confidence in the hearts and minds of his own wife and children what a beautiful blessing from god during this lockdown he spends his precious time his precious presence with god or he feels the presence of god in his life now and he gives his quality presence to his kids and he feels the precious presence from his kids and he feels his own lifestyle where it is what it is and how it is and he tries to change from a failure to hopeful success do you think we is is my own flesh and blood brother i'm so happy to share this as a witness of hope and witness of change and witness of the real presence in our lives the real presence of god the real presence of the other the real presence of one's own self i'm so happy to share this beautiful story from my own family to you all my friends i sincerely thank you father for helping me to share this beautiful story from my own family thank you father and friends thank you father and mom thank you for that wonderful story so sisters and brothers we can learn from this story and learn from this time in the midst of the pandemic that yes we can encourage for many of us to shelter in place but also realize that we've been given a gift and an opportunity to shelter in the presence of God to shelter in the presence of each other and to shelter within ourselves so we would like to close with our prayers in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen our father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen and there for the love race the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Mary mother of divine providence pray for us saint luigi guinella pray for us god bless and god be with you all god bless you dear friends bye bye